and they've all just fallen over. Great. Hello, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Becca and today I have every series I've ever completed. So last year was my first half year technically on booktube and so I didn't really know what the end of year videos were going to look like. I was kind of waiting for other people to post theirs so I could post mine afterwards. However now I'm trying to get prepared for the end of the year and a lot of people do the series they've completed in the year that's just been and I feel like before I can do that I have to fill you in on all of the series I've completed before 2018 and if you've been here a while you know that I mainly read series I'm not a standalone reader like I'm a hardcore like let me blast through this series kind of person and I always try and complete series if I've started them so I don't think that this is a comprehensive list because aside from what little bit of memory I have I can only really go off what Goodreads tells me and I only started Goodreads in August 2014. So this is all of the series that I've completed that Goodreads knows about and a couple that I maybe remembered <laughs> and we're going to go in no particular order as well because I I knocked my stack of books over. Yeah. I can't really like put them back together again. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna grab a series, tell you a little bit about it and we're just gonna see how this video goes. So first we have If I Stay by Gail Foreman. This is a duology about a girl who is in a car crash and all of her family die and she has to decide whether she wants to come back from her coma and live with the rest of the world or whether she wants to die and be with her family. I think this was around a four or five star series for me. I did really enjoy it. They're kind of short, they're easy to fly through and they pack a bit of an emotional punch. Next up we have Twilight because of course I've completed Twilight. It was like my favourite thing of my teenage years. Obviously this was a five star series for me. I haven't reread it. Um, well I have. I've read this book particularly 15 times but I haven't reread it recently and I'm not sure if I'm going to because I'm scared that I won't like it when I used to love it so much but this will always hold a special place in my heart and always be one of my most loved series. Next we will go with The Works of Cassandra Clare. I completed The Mortal Instruments, absolutely loved them, gave them all, I think, five stars. Obviously you know what Cassandra Clare's books are about in the Shadowhunter world, I'm not really going to go into it, but I absolutely loved The Mortal Instruments, one of my favourite series of all time. I have since fallen out of love with Cassandra Clare a little bit but this series in particular will always be one of my favourites. I have also completed The Bane Chronicles which may be very dusty because it's been on the top of my bookshelves but this was a series of novellas that sort of follow Magnus Bane through the centuries and I really enjoyed this because Magnus is one of my favourite characters and even though it's just one book like it is like a collection of novellas so I thought I would include it. Then we have The Infernal Devices which I didn't like and I think that's because I don't really like historical fiction. Um, I gave the first two three stars and the last one four stars but this is set in the 18th century maybe and it follows Shadowhunters from London. Historical fiction, not my thing, didn't love it as much. Then we have Rochelle Mead series. I read the entire Vampire Academy series. I did enjoy this but Rose really annoyed me because Adrian is like the man of this series and ugh, just don't get me started. I think that this was a five star series for me. I really enjoyed it. However, I did enjoy the Bloodline series more. And now this is an unpopular opinion because I know that pretty much everyone prefers Vampire Academy, but I'm definitely a Bloodlines person because Adrian is one of the main characters and I just love the relationship between him and Sydney and just Adrian is everything. Adrian Ivashkov inspired my laptop password and I haven't changed it in like many, many years. That's how much I love him and this series, oh. I think I should reread it because I did really like it. Beautiful Creatures by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll. This was the first book I ever bought from Waterstones because it was so beautiful and it's funny to think of that because now by today's book standards it's not all that pretty but I just loved it. It was so shiny on the shelf and so this is the first series I ever bought from Waterstones. I believe I rated it quite highly however I don't remember a thing about it now apart from it's about witches but regardless of how I feel about this series, I will always keep the books because they were the first books that I bought from Waterstones. The Lux series by Anna Godberson. This is so addictive and I know I'd said that I didn't like historical fiction and this is like Gossip Girl in like the 18th or 19th century. It's so vapid and it's about high society people but I was addicted to it. I love Henry. Henry is just like, he's the Chuck Bass of this series and I loved him. I was addicted to this. The ending of this series has to be one of the ones that's pissed me off the most ever 
but I really enjoyed it and I want to read her series set in the 20s. Is it called Bright Young Things or something like that? But I'm surprised at how much I actually liked this. Alice in Zombieland by Gina, Gina? Gina? Alice in Zombieland by Gina Showalter. This is the first book in the White Rabbit Chronicles. I never read the fourth and the fifth books in the series because they're sort of like a spin-off series and not the core trilogy but this is another addictive trash type of series i don't think it's well written at all but there was just so much sexual tension between the protagonist and the love interest cole who is just like tall brooding dangerous and dreamy so i really loved it for those parts and just the pickup lines some of the pickup lines just make me swoon but it is like addictive trash i wouldn't really recommend it to anybody but i just personally really enjoyed it obviously we have the hunger games by suzanne collins of course i love this yeah i don't need to tell you what it's about because like you all know and you all know I loved it because who doesn't love The Hunger Games? I didn't even think Mockingjay was that bad but then at the time that I read them I wasn't a critical reader so maybe it was. I don't remember but yeah I always have a special place in my heart. I really need to read Battle Royale which is probably what The Hunger Games was inspired from but it's like it's like this thick and I'm a little bit scared of it. So yeah The Hunger Games doesn't need any explanation five star series loved it the fifth wave by rick yancey i'm counting this as a completed series because i know he's writing another trilogy but i'm not sure if it's going to be like fifth wave book four five and six or whether it's going to be a different series but this i actually didn't hate it a lot of people really hated the second and third book in this series i will say that i was concerned about why they were so much shorter than the first book but i really enjoyed the series as a whole this is like a dystopian in the style of like the 1960s I think, film The Body Snatchers where aliens are coming and inhabiting humans because their planet has been destroyed or something and we are destroying our own planet so they're like saving the planet from us. And I really liked it. It was fast paced, it was interesting, I really liked the concept because I hadn't read a whole lot of sci-fi and I don't really understand why everybody hates it so much but then once again I wasn't as much of a critical reader so maybe if I reread it I wouldn't feel quite the same way about it. And then we have A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J Maas. I am counting this as a full series that I've completed because I'm not sure again whether the other books in this series are going to be Akatar book four five and six or whether they're going to be like a new spin-off series so obviously you know like this is my favorite series ever probably although Strange the Dreamer is like becoming a favorite and uh, Nevernight is a favorite but this is like one of my top favorite series ever absolutely loved it don't need to tell you what it's about but Resand is just you won't know how Resand is by Akatar. Another one that needs no anything, Harry Potter. I will say that I have only read these when they were coming out. So I have the first three illustrated and I have just the first one in the 20th anniversary editions at the minute. I am going to reread them soon. I don't know whether that will be this year or next year, but it is coming because I realised that a lot of what I remember about Harry Potter is just the films because I've rewatched the films loads but never reread the books. So I do want to reread these sometime soon. But obviously they if I'd have rated them on Goodreads, which I haven't because I read them when I was like 10, they would be a five star series. I don't need to say any more. The Queen of the Tealion by Erica Johansson. This is quite a polarizing series. It is a very slow political fantasy about a girl who is the princess of the realm, but she has a lot of bitterness towards her mother because she was sent away from the throne so that she wouldn't be assassinated. And then she has to come and reclaim her kingdom knowing absolutely nothing about how to be a queen. And I gave this whole series five stars. I really enjoyed it. And I know a lot of people really didn't. And I'm not really sure why. I know Maddie from the Book Pusher was like extremely irritated by it. And I don't know why it gets so much level of hate, but it has been a couple of years since I read it. But I did really love this one. The Alice Chronicles by Christina Henry. This is just a duology. I didn't really like this. The only reason I still have it is because my boyfriend bought me the duology for Christmas. It is supposed to be a horror Alice in Wonderland themed story and I just didn't find it very horror-y and everything just seemed really convenient and I just wasn't a fan. The Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Meyer. Another absolutely amazing series. I also bought Cinder and Scarlet from Florida I think and now I have like I have a full US set of these mainly in paperback but winter unfortunately is hardback. Really fun YA sci-fi. Didn't expect to love it. It seemed really childish from the blurb and really tacky from the UK cover which wasn't as nicely printed as these. They were horrible and shiny but it's really fun and I love it and I love how the fairy tales are interwoven and how all the plots come together and intertwine 
and I would highly recommend this one. Then we have the Grisha trilogy by Lee Bardugo. I have only read the first trilogy. I haven't read the Six of Crows duology and I have Language of Thorns, but I have read some of the novellas out of that when they were released as just novellas to go with this series, but I haven't read the actual book yet. Four star series, I want to say. I wasn't that amazed by it at the time, but I did really like it. I want to reread this because Nikolai is like one of my OTP. OTP? No. Nikolai is one of my like OG, that's the one, book boyfriends. I absolutely love it and I'm so excited for King of Scars. So I want to reread this, read Six of Crows, Language of Thorns and then read King of Scars. So that might happen soon, it might not, we'll see. So you may have noticed that those were all quite positive and that is because there's some series that I've read that I've unhauled because I hated them so much. So we're going to go through some of those now and I will insert the pictures here. The first series that I've completed that I don't hate was Diary of a Crush by Sarah Manning. This is like, it's probably like Colleen Hoover-esque but YA and it's about this like 17 year old girl that falls in love with this like bad boy who treats her terribly but at the time that I read it when I was like a 14 year old it was so romantic and I loved it. Then we have The Fallen series by Lauren Kay which is the second worst book series I have ever read. I hate read the entire thing, really did not like it, was not a fan, hated everything about it. I don't remember a lot about it now apart from that I really despised it. Fifty Shades of Grey by E.L. James, another series that I hate read. This, I don't even like consider this one of my most hated series, it was just something I read and it was just like why did I read that? Oh, the Soul Seekers series by Alison Noel. This is my most hated series. It is the worst written, worst plotline, cheesiest, most awful thing I've ever read. So much so that I um, didn't even donate the books to a charity shop. I put them in the bin because I thought they were so bad that nobody else should have to read them. And a cat just jumped through my window and he can't escape because the door's shut. And I think he's just realised that and now he's freaking out. So there's that. But yeah, Soul Seekers series, like, don't waste your time. I unhold the other series, it's like the Evernight series by her as well at the time because I just, I never want to read anything by her again. And the last one is one that I really enjoy but I read it in ebook and I've never purchased physical copies and that was the Half Bad series by Sally Green. The last book in this series is absolutely heartbreaking. The first book I was very iffy about because Sally Green is a UK author and she writes in a very gritty style. It's all very like council estate and chubby. <laughs> kind of thing and I really didn't like it but by the time I got to the second and third books in the series I was so invested. I really loved the romance in this and the ending really got me in the feels. It's one of the most heartbreaking endings I've ever read. But that is everything for every series I have ever read I think. I think that's every series I've ever read. Please let me know what you think about any of these. I haven't included any of the series that I have finished in 2018 so far so like Red Queen I finished this year Hush Hush, The Creekwood Duology. I haven't included any of those because they will be coming at the end of the year with my end of year videos. Please don't forget to like this video if you liked it and subscribe if you want to. If you head into the description box down below, you'll find a link to my Goodreads, Instagram and Twitter if you'd like to follow me on any of those, as well as a link to my Boogish Body Butter and Candle website, the Instagram for that, and also a 10% off discount code. That's it from me today. Bye!